September 11th, 2001, New York, Washington, D.C., and Pennsylvania are attacked by Al-Qaeda terrorists. By 2003, the Bush administration claims that they have proof of weapons of mass destruction as a justification for declaring war on Iraq. Thousands of Americans enlist in the armed forces to serve. After the liberation of Iraq in 2003, the United States and coalition forces began a peacekeeping mission to stabilize a free and democratic Iraq. During this time, extremist insurgents and special criminal groups indiscriminately target coalition forces and Iraqi citizens with a vicious campaign of violence. U.S. forces investigating the terrorist cells that are attacking our troops determine that these are sophisticated and well-financed organizations. Through this process, it is discovered that Iran and its agents are funding, training, and supplying Hezbollah and Al-Qaeda-supported terrorist groups. In order to wage this campaign of terror, Iran needed hundreds of millions of U.S. dollars to arm, supply, and coordinate these groups. Iran also needed assistance from those inside the global financial system. This came from some of the world's largest banks, who illegally gave Iran access to U.S. dollars. Not only did these banks break the law, but they profited greatly from their actions while Americans fought, died, and sustained injuries. For the last 40 years, Iran has been the world's largest state sponsor of terror and has been the target of economic sanctions that were intended to cripple its ability to commit terrorism. In order to circumvent economic sanctions, Iran and the banks conspired to conceal U.S. dollar-denominated transactions from regulatory and intelligence agencies. This conspiracy prevented the interception and tracking of funds used to commit terrorism. Eventually, these banks were criminally investigated and paid billion dollar fines, but no one went to jail. Meanwhile, our troops are still paying the price. Now, wounded vets and the families of fallen soldiers have banded together to hold Iran and these banks responsible. To join this fight for justice, go to www.iraqwarfund.com.